So the model that I run is one purchasing manager, three sourcing VAs, and one admin VA. And when we talk about if you're at zero right now, how should you go? We like admin VAs are definitely part of it. You should hire an admin VA because yes. you're right; it doesn't add value to your business and administration. But hours is not very much. So we always say like you should do one sourcing VA first, get comfortable with it. Then you can do two, another two, one or two. So you've got two or three. And then what you do is probably hire an admin VA to start taking off that load. And also as well, you've now got enough deals coming in, enough administration that now it's going to fill up at least yeah. a part-time admin. The but yeah, they'll scale. And then you're looking, right, I'll take one of those sources and train them up to be a purchaser and I'll replace that sourcer. So now I have a business whereby... I'm not in the business, I'm working on the business. And the yeah. same as me, like I have a great purchasing manager and she just literally has all the meetings. She holds the team accountable. I tell her what my problems are and then she will go away and make sure that gets delivered every single week. And it makes my life so much easier. And then also as well, like I can work 40 hours a week on the business when I want to, but also as well, I can then go and take two months off. And I'm not saying like 100% off, I still have to do a couple of hours a week. But I know that there's a good person there. We're finding products, we're reordering products, we're getting them purchased, we're dealing with all the administration, seller central's dealt with. Like, I'm so much happier, and it's a much better operation. So we we went by that really quick. So say again, your what you see as your ideal structure for the employees in your business. You so, said sourcing agents, purchasing agent, admin. Yeah, so I think about it. So think um, the way I think about it is functions. So a lot of people like to design really complex, like organizational charts. For mm -hmm. me, I'd say try and keep it as simple as possible. Make it functions, and the reason is is if you define what a function does, you know the skills that they need to do, and then when someone leaves or something, you can replace it. Try not to make roles for specific people because they become unreplaceable and that becomes a problem. And it's not yep. to say that we want to fire our staff or anything, we don't. But what you do want is a business which is able to operate efficiently and effectively. So everyone has a standard role. You know the KPIs and metrics, you know what good looks like. And then second of all is the fact that that business, if you want, as you want to grow it, is just improve, you know, making hiring more of those functions. So the mm -hmm. functions are purchasing manager at the top. So they their function is to run the whole business. They're the line manager for all the staff. They do the physical purchasing. And for me in my business, they do the repricing as well. Um, and they would do the accountability for all the team members as well. Then we have sourcing, which is finding products. And they would be analyzing wholesale price lists, for example, in my team as well. They also deal with wholesalers, only wholesalers that we've already opened. So I'm not talking to the wholesalers anymore, or the, you know, the manufacturers, the distributors. My team at sources are doing it, not the purchasing manager, but actually the sources. And they're called like, we, we kind of treat them like account managers. And then they'd also do the OA sourcing. They would contact you know, OA suppliers, ask for discounts. Um, they would basically find the products. And so anything in regards to... Finding products, buying them are those two functions. And then anything which is not directly related to that is administration, which is invoicing, getting products from supplier to the warehouse, warehouse managing that, shipping it into Amazon, dealing with Amazon, not repricing, but all set of central functions, customer messages, account health, IP, all that things. Um, also as well, chasing suppliers, for, uh, uh, I should say invoices uh, or, or payments mm. back. Uh, even doing business p ls balance sheets, weekly cash flows, dealing with the accountants. My admin VAs deal with the accountants before I do. I want to free up time. My admin VAs even do my personal tax return before I look at it. Mm -hmm. Like I have rental properties as well. They do that as well. Like the more stuff I don't have to deal with, the happier I am. So get them to do all that um, and find the people who love it. Like my admin VA loves it. And I'm like, I hate it. Thank you so much for being amazing, which is why I yes. finding the right people sure. is so important. But they're the three functions that I think about. And as you scale, you like as we when we had a really big business doing four million, the the only difference we had was instead of having a purchasing manager and we had a purchasing assistant. So we still had one head, and then we have a purchasing assistant, and under them they would have teams of sources. So okay. that's the only kind of next level up. But we still just had like, I think that's three admin VAs in that operation because OA is very admin intensive. Yep. Very good. I like it. Yeah, that's a very good structure. Very similar to what I have going on. I do have an optimization team as well since we do that part of it for our exclusive suppliers. But otherwise, very similar structure to what you're talking about there. Yeah. And I think the reason why I say keep it simple is because you want to know 
there's something I, I heard a while ago, which was every single person in your business, you need to ask them the question, how do you make me money? Mm-hmm. Like not save me money, but make me money, which is really like, a slight difference. And like with your admin BAs, that's probably the challenging one. It's like, I make you money by going back to the suppliers, seeing if they've got discounts or asking that as well. Like just building that relationship or like saving me money or working with the um, other areas. And what's interesting is you really, and then what you can do is you can get very clear KPIs on how each function helps the business grow. And so when you have a problem, you know, this is your, this is you, your area, you need to fix this. And I'm here to help, but I want to be crystal clear. I'm here to help. I'm not here to fix it. That's your job. Yeah. Yeah. That's important for sure. And if they're not able to fix it or not willing to fix it, then maybe you got a little problem there. Correct. Yep. Exactly. It's never a fun thing, but there's always going to become a time where you got to fire someone or someone leaves and you got to replace them. So you want to make sure the business is set up in a way that you can quickly and easily do that. 